Mike Tyson was a superstar. He was the youngest heavyweight champion in the world. The richest athlete surpassing Michael Jordan in 1990, Iron Mike. Mike was at the height of his career, driving Lambos and partying every other night. Mike Tyson had it all. Until in 1992, when an 18-year-old beauty queen, Desiree Washington, accused him of rape and got convicted and sentenced to 10 years in jail. Mike's sentence was cut by six years and he left prison in 1995. He left me completely jacked. Apparently the three years he served in prison were the best years of his life. I had the best three years of my life in prison. I mean nothing when you don't have your peace. You need your sanity to, to dictate any part of life. God punishes you by giving you everything you want. See if you can handle it. When Mike entered prison, he was 278 pounds. He trained so hard inside lifting weights, doing calisthenics, and he even left his prison cells floor indented due to intense training. I went for four hours just in my room, jumping stuff like this, just jumping up. In my cell, right, in the concrete floor, right? I put, I indented it, my feet. Oh, your feet, okay. Yeah, and did the concrete floor. And when he finished his sentence, he was only 214 pounds, totally ripped and in shape. He lost 60 pounds and added some muscle. Even in prison, Mike Tyson has an impeccable work ethic. But this is only one of the numerous shocking prison stories of Iron Mike. Even though Mike was somehow hot-headed and prison was a great test of patience, Mike only got into trouble once when he punched another inmate because he didn't fear him and showed him no respect. Well, that's one way to earn some respect. One legendary rapper, though, showed him a tremendous amount of respect. When Mike was sent to jail, he was visited by the most famous celebrities in Hollywood, B.B. King, Whitney Houston, James Brown, and many more. But one of his most memorable visitors was the legendary rapper Tupac Shakur. Tyson even recalled the inmates loudly clapping and absolutely respected him for what he'd done to the industry and to their culture. Well, Tyson did have a memorable time in jail, and that includes this next one. Mike had a chance to reduce his sentence by a year if he passed a GED, or General Education Department exam. Mike has been desperate to pass, and what did he do? He dated one of the prison counselors and even had sex with her occasionally. He also gave her money and, as he described it, did nasty things with her. Eventually, Tyson's gamble paid off as the counsellor made him pass the GED exam and reduced his sentence. And not just that, he revealed that he even got girlfriends in prison and got a girl pregnant. He revealed in an interview on Vlad TV that he was living the normal life in prison. He was respected as the champion Mike Tyson and got everything he wanted. He revealed getting a girl pregnant inside the prison. The, um, the council worker now, she's letting me have sex with her now, so I'm going good. And he said that it was just meant to be. He then added that his life in prison was the most safe and secure he'd ever felt in his life. What was one of the worst experiences you had in jail? Oh, bad experience. Beautiful experiences. I felt very safe there. Mm. As he grew up on the bloody streets in Brooklyn and constantly got in trouble, but his fellow inmates weren't afraid to get into trouble either. News about Mike Tyson being sent to prison in Indiana spread like wildfire, and his avid supporters continued to try and meet Mike even in prison. Some were sending gifts and letters to him too, and these things gave Tyson's fellow inmates an ultimately insane idea. Imitate Tyson and cheat his supporters. This was after Tyson's fellow inmates sent letters to women to convince them to give cash and jewelry. He racked up money impersonating Tyson, but got caught months later after one of the women visited the prison. What a clever but evil idea by that man. And the courage to imitate the baddest man on the planet. But behind these wild stories, Mike Tyson often described his life in prison as the best three years of his life. He continued living lavishly inside prison cells 
and had the ball in prison. He even said in numerous podcasts that he doesn't want to leave prison and that he will cherish the memories and the lessons he got from his jail time. One of these was the most life-changing moment in his life. Years after he was sent to prison, Mike described himself as a savage man, but one thing changed his perspective about life, Islam. He changed his religion to Islam and devoted most of his time to reading the teachings of Islam. He was very moved by the Book of Islam and decided to become a Muslim because he saw Islam as a religion of peace and it made him quite a different man, a more peaceful and delicate man. He even changed his name to Malik Abdul Aziz as a part of being a Muslim. However, he didn't use his Muslim name and continued using the name Mike Tyson when having his boxing matches. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Mike used this newfound religion to motivate himself to be better and to be in shape at all times. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong. I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'm going to stay last, stay proud, never running out, never He wanted out. to prove his doubters wrong. Mike said that after he got to prison, people were sparking the conversation that he was done. Not just in boxing, but the entire Mike Tyson himself. And when he got parole and got out of prison in 1995, he was raring to go and was very eager to touch the ring once again. It's showtime! He fought the vicious Peter McNeely in August 1995 and convincingly won via a TKO in the first round. silencing all of his haters and doubters. Mike Tyson dubbed this as one of the most satisfying wins he's had ever since he stepped foot into the ring. Mike's incredible time in prison made him not just a better fighter, but a better person. And he will always remember his prison time as the best three years of his life.